Hi everyone, welcome to Code with Scalar. Aman from this side, and in this video, we are going to create this animated hamburger menu. So once I click on it, uh, this transform to the cross, and if I again click on it, it uh, transform to the menu hamburger menu. So yeah, this is how it looks. To start with creating our index dot html file and another file for styling style dot css uh, let me just uh, read it to write and have a boilerplate title uh, hamburger menu and uh, make sure to link your css file right Okay, uh, now uh, let's just have a container of hamburger. Hamburger, cool. And inside this, uh, let's have three bar. Okay, so top bar, middle bar, and at the end, a uh, bottom bar. Cool. So the structure is complete. Let me just make it live. Okay, so nothing is visible as of now. Start with the styling. For all, uh, let me just give it padding zero and uh, margin zero as well. And box sizing that is border box. Okay, and come to our hamburger. So for uh, First of all, let me just give it some height and width. Height, let's see, uh, 2.5 gram. Width as well, 2.5 gram. And just let me give it some background color for the visual effect. Yeah, this is it. Uh, so uh, let's take it to the center. And uh, one of the way is to go to its parent and uh, assign it some display flex. Uh, Align item the center justify content as well in the center and give it let me give it height of 100 vh so it should be in center now dot body it's not dot body it's just body it is in the center we can remove this now let's come to the r bar top bar middle bar and at the end, bottom bar. Let me just put a dot for class bottom bar. Let's give it some height. Uh, uh, height, I think. Uh, let me just give it some three pixel height. Okay. A uh, color or uh, background color. Or uh, let me just give it black. And here, uh, for alignment purpose, let me just give it a display flex as well. Flex direction make it column because I want to one after another flex directions column just justify content like space between okay now we have these three bars here we just have some margin three pixel from top and bottom to zero from left and right so yeah we do have three bars now Cool. Now, uh, one thing we can do is uh, transforming it to the cross. Like, as you can see, when I click on it, it becomes cross. So observe it very carefully. Uh, the middle bar, it goes away, right? And the two remains. Middle bar just go away, right? So, this is uh, what we want to do. So, for that, what we can do, uh, let me just have a hamburger. When it has special class active, let me just put it here. We'll be adding functionality with the JavaScript. Like when the class active is there, show the cross. Otherwise, show three bars. Okay. So when uh, hamburger dot active class is there for top bar, there is something which you want to do for top bar and uh, for middle and bottom bar as well middle bar or bottom bar for top bar we just simply want to transform it 
transform it that is the rotate it 45 degree we want to rotate it 45 degree right the upper bar we want to rotate it 45 degree and the last bar negative 45 degree so let's just transform this uh, rotate a uh, negative 45 degree let's see how it looks now so yeah we do have this two bars in the one bar here we want it to be transform uh translate in the x-axis let me just put one ram it has been translated to x-axis by one ram or removing it we can just make this request opacity as zero now you can observe that it is not crossing each other the bar is not crossing each other for that what we can do we can just simply go to the hamburger or these three classes and we can say a uh, transform origin like what's the origin so keep the origin to left from where the transformation is happening so now you can see the cross is perfect here okay so the transformation is happening at the faster pace we can just uh, simply say transition all 0.5 second is in and is in out let's see now you can see the transformation right let me just remove the active class so our three bars is there and let me just if i add active class you can see the transformation okay so now uh, what we can do we can simply implement the functionality with javascript so that it works on clicking okay and we'll be adding the transition later if it doesn't look good script first uh, this is the toggling button effect so let me just uh, first let a variable uh, is clicked okay if uh, click initially it's false it's not clicked and let me just uh, have hamburger or uh, document dot uh, query selector dot ham burger let me remove the class here hamburger and uh, i am adding event listener to this hamburger whenever someone clicks on it uh, just execute this function and in this function we will check if is click if it's already click then we'll do something else we'll do something else so if it's uh, not already clicked what we can do we can simply uh, add class hamburger class list dot add add active class okay and uh, if it's click if it's already clicked what we can do we can just remove the active class right let's see okay it's not working why uh, because i think i have not toggled it so we need to toggle the is click let's see so as you can see the transformation is happening now and it's a uh, it's looking good as well right it's similar to this so yeah uh, that's it for this video don't forget to like share and subscribe the video and if you have any doubt do let me know in the comment section or uh, is there any project or any concept which you want me to cover uh, i'll be more than happy to do it for you and yeah that's it bye